Zap attacks are going to be insane at Town Hall 16. Earlier today, we did the sneak peek number two video, but in this video, we're just going to be showing Town Hall 16 gameplay, including Zap Titan and Zap Lolo, and we are crushing bases with it. Earlier today, we went over all the new information with sneak peek number two of the Town Hall 16 update. And one of the most important things was how many lightning spells you needed for each defense. And because lightning spells, in my opinion, are going to be really strong, let's get into some live attacks at Town Hall 16, why don't we? So we're going to start with Zap Titan. This is one of my favorite attack strategies, and I can't see why it won't be as strong at Town Hall 16 as it was at Town Hall 15. So nice Zap Quake to start with. And we're going for the Town Hall. So we left the ground bow up here for the Flame Flinger to come in. Now, I'm sure you guys are not only looking forward to all these new defenses in action, but in particular, the Multi-Archer Tower and the Ricochet Cannon. Now, they're on the far side of the base, but don't worry. We will deal with them at some point. So, Warden Walk doing its thing. Whilst we're waiting, we're going to set the funnel on the bottom side. There's the new defenses that you see looking nice and pretty. Flame Flinger doing a good job behind. And as soon as this Expo's down, we're going to pull the titans over so just a waiting game at the moment here but one of the big reasons that zaps should be strong is there's more high value defenses with the ricochet cannon and the multi archer tower and they're naturally going to have to be quite clumped and on top of that six zaps one quake now gets rid of a few more buildings uh, including the multi archer tower and obviously uh, the scatter shot as well. So we're coming in with the uh, Zap Titans on the bottom. We've got the Kings dealing with the multi archer tower. We've got the Zaps, in, uh, the Zaps in the middle, the Titans in the middle. And you're going to notice one thing with this hit that I want you to keep an eye on. The Rage Towers are nowhere near as strong. We went through this in Sneak Peek number one. But Rage Healers can keep up with a lot of the DPS. Look at this. The DPS on the base is barely more than the, what the Rage Healers can do. I used the Warden ability here to get this Balloon because I believe this Balloon can go and find some air traps and it does. The King gets rid of the Ricochet Cannon on the bottom. But have a look, this base has no chance. We use the final Rage spell. Our Queen deals with the Defensive Queen there. By the way, I'm FCing myself at the moment. Another great perk from Sneak Peek number one. We use the Royal Champion down the bottom and this base is wrecked. Now, maybe not the best base ever, and you might say that the zap value was probably a bit too strong, but there's always going to be zap value on bases these days, and most important, think of the defenses that got an upgrade, right? The defenses that got an upgrade aren't the ones that are very bad for uh, Titans. If the Monolith got an upgrade, Titans wouldn't be as strong, obviously, but the Lightning Spells got an upgrade, and it was really only the Expos on defense that got an upgrade. I guess the Defensive Heroes did as well, but look at the swag on this. We have all our Titans alive. We have Queen alive, RC alive. We have a Freeze spell and our entire CC. That was Crush. Zap Lalo, though, I think will be even stronger. These, This is one of the typical Diamond bases, which is double rage. Now, normally, you can't get a lot of zap value, but because the Rage Tower's radius is smaller, you have to keep the defenses closer together, and you're able to get more Lightning Spell value, because if they want the Rage Tower to be effective, it has to be closer to the other defenses. Now, I don't really know what I'm doing with Zap Lalo. Clearly, I need to watch more stars, so don't take anything of this other than the fact that I triple with Zap Lalo the first time I used it at Town Hall 16, and I never used it at Town Hall 15. I think that says enough, don't you? So the King came back, which was quite nice of him. We got the Queen doing her thing, put down the Skeleton spell so the RC can clear the flank, and the Yetis go in. Now, I couldn't decide whether I should use the Rage here or not. I decided to use the Rage because I thought the Queen was going in. But if I remember correctly, yeah, she ducks out, which is a little unfortunate. If she went in, she could have got both Infernos and both Sweepers. RC on the left side here, we use the Wizard. How cool's the Wizard look, by the way? It's not really on theme, but the yellow does look seriously nice. RC comes through. She's already used her ability, so she goes down. The Queen's able to reach the Multi Inferno. Not very good base building there, but still, even if she couldn't, that is some seriously nice value to start off with. We've dealt with both of the spell towers. And now let's just come into the Lala. And keep in mind, Loon's got an upgrade as well. They were always going to get an upgrade, but I mean, 
This is just going to make it even stronger. We freeze the Town Hall. Queen ability goes off. Going to get rid of that Expo, which is nice. The loons look so cool. I love it. Lalo coming across. Keep in mind, the Town Hall poison effect doesn't last for as long. This was a change from the sneak last sneak peek. We've got two... Our first Lava Hound has only just died. Clearly, the Seeking Air Mines need to be on different spots of this base. Second one goes down, but we have the last one coming across. And the fact that I, of all people, tripled with Zap Lolo, an army that I'm terrible at, says all you need to know. Zap attacks are going to be so strong at Town Hall 16. I'm sure we'll see some different base building than you see here, and we might see more Poison Towers uh, at Town Hall 16, which will make this attack interesting, but... With this nerf to Rage Towers, I'm telling you, Zap attacks are going to be awesome. Let me know down in the comments below what other Zap attacks you'd like to see. Uh, happy to show them all for you, but that's it for this one. Quickly, if you wanted to see some more Zap Wallo before we go to Town Hall 6, then I'll link stars doing live Legends hits on the left.